What's the most difficult emotional part that you've had to play? <laughs> it had nothing to do with the part. It was Petruchio and Taming the Shrew. All right. Because <laughs> I was tossed that. There had been a big argument. Uh, this is early 1954? 54. 54. 54. 54. Right. Maver, was, Maver Moore was playing the part. Stratford. Yes. And things were not going well. He kept saying to Guthrie, but you can't do that to Shakespeare. Guthrie said, well, watch me. <laughs> but what was Guthrie doing to Shakespeare? Well, it was the Wild West production of Taming of the Shrew. And... Uh, some of the things were being pretty... <laughs> there was production like it done quite recently in the, modern, in the Western vein, and it works. You know, I was playing Petruchio like Harold Lloyd. Well, Petruchio ain't really like Harold Lloyd, but that's the way Guthrie wanted it. And it all happened so swiftly because I heard them arguing a day at the front of the tent, and the next thing I knew, Cecil Clark, a Guthrie's assistant, was at the tent flap at lunchtime and said, Dr. Guthrie would like to see you for lunch. Well, I was playing a forest lord. I thought, well, he can't fire me. <laughs> so I went over to <clears throat> Princess Street. Guthrie greeted me. Said, Come in, dear boy. <laughs> Sit down. I'll get you a drink. I think you're going to need it. <laughs> he got me a stiff scotch and said, there, drink that. Now, you're playing Petruchio. And I nearly fainted, because it wasn't far away. It was a matter of three and a half or four weeks, and I knew not a word of it. And uh, I said, oh, Dr. Guthrie, I don't think I... Never mind, learn the lines, do as you're told, and you'll be very good. Well, I learned the lines and did as I was told, but it was the most horrific time I've ever been through, and without the assistance of... Barbara Chilcott and her two brothers, Murray and Donald, I wouldn't have made it because they'd take me out in the fields at night and rehearse the lines with me, go over them with me. And I gradually got them into my head. And I also remember on the opening night, we had a little run through and I was paralyzed with fear walking down past Lloyd Bachner's house. And Lloyd saw me and he said, Bill, where are you going? I said, I don't know. He said, well, come in here. Ruth will get you a sandwich. So I went in, and Ruth got me a sandwich, and I ate it. And Lloyd said, now go upstairs and lie down. I said, oh, Lloyd, I don't He said, go upstairs and lie down. And miraculously, I fell asleep. And I got up and did the performance, and I still bless Lloyd for that to this day. But that was horrific. It had nothing to do with the part. It was a horrific experience.